running a 5k today. First order of business today, we're going to make some breakfast. I'm going to keep it somewhat light, but we're going to make peanut butter and banana sandwich with a protein shake. I used to eat these a lot when I was younger. I make these all the time before the gym. It's a good um, pre workout snack. Got your healthy fats here. I usually do both sides when it comes to like spreading the peanut butter. I'm gonna top these. But I have two banana and peanut butter banana sandwiches here. I'm gonna eat these, then I'm gonna shower. Then I'm gonna shower. I have a running fit picked up for today. If you guys watch my videos, I am not a runner whatsoever. I hate running, <laughs> not with the passion, but I just I just don't like go out of my way to go run, especially at the gym. I'll never do cardio, but today this 5K is for childhood cancer awareness and it's with a group called the love chloe foundation they do this every year it's called the chloe fun run and the whole point behind the run is to raise awareness for again childhood cancer and if you don't know your boy was a survivor himself went through it for about three two and a half years battling and we came out one came out fighting but it is what it is. We we came stronger from it. But yeah, let me get ready to do this. Last year I did not do it last year. Last year I was sleep deprived and I did not go the year before I did it with the with the boy Riley and Andy. Did pretty good for not training. I usually never train for this. So the gym fit picked out marching fit. Running fit we picked up for today. Okay, so we got our black virtual shirt. It is bleached right here. I wore this to work. I'm American, right? And I got my black Nike. I think these are called free or what? I don't even know. They're like wearing shorts. And to top it all off, we got an undershirt and our virtues. Black foam hat. Not sure if we wanna wear this backwards, forwards. I'm gonna wear it backwards. And then to top it all off, again, we've got the new balances 20 2002 R's. Uh, these are like my first running shoes that I actually like. Well, I get roasted a lot actually because they look like dad shoes. If you guys haven't seen them, this is what they look like. But anyways, I also have this Theragun. I'm going to try to massage my ankles because at, because of work, my ankles and like this whole foot area tends to be very tense. I think I'm going to just massage my calves real quick. Get them, but I almost never use it. I'll start, probably start using it now because now that I know what it can do. My little right hand companion today, Nico. I don't feel like doing this run. I hate running, dude. <laughs> but for a good cause. And my thing is, I think your mind quits loop before your body does. My little entourage got Nini here. Nico all the way in the back. He's my little assistant for today. He's carrying everything. There's like no parking down here this morning. Here's Are you recording? Are you recording? We just finished 5k, got an 8 minute now, no training. I planned on training for this, like I said, but with work and 
uh, all the content. Like, it was kind of hard to fit time in, but we got an 8 minute mile, 5k check, and we got the crew with us here. My glowy? <laughs> Alright, we might do another one, but maybe in like a year. <laughs> I defeat the orphan today. <laughs> the best orphan. <laughs> Post 5k results, Andy, how do you feel? Like ass. <laughs> For real, my caps are I'm dying. Andy got like 19? I got first place. Cap. He got 19 something. 19. You remember? I got 14th place. Nice. I did, I did swear. You, what, yeah. you, what was the time though? 14? Wait, hold up. Not 14. Yeah, I did. Your time? No, 14th place. I got... 19.7. I got 24... Six. Shoulders up. Not side to side. Shoulders up. Up. Come on, Annie, like a cholo. What? My sister asked me if she can go to a party. Oh, yes, mom. Yes, mom. She asked my mom. My mom's out of town right now. Look, but I'm an honest kid. Which leaves me in charge. And I said, fuck no. <laughs> Annie, I don't want to go to a party. Who's going to be there, huh? What time do you plan on coming home, huh? Are there going to be boys? And girls? If you're going, you have to bring Toby. Oh, okay. <laughs> when it comes to parties, normally, I used to, I had my bear share days when I was in, in the college. But I realized early on that it wasn't worth it. One time I came home, I'll get the story time back. One time I came home from a party out with my friends and I came home pretty, pretty, pretty tipsy. And when I got home in the morning, or at least in the night, I ended up throwing up, fortunately, and it did not feel good. And I realized early in that morning, waking up, that it kind of reminded me of a feeling I had when I was younger. And that was when I, when I had chemo, and just that feeling of a hangover just made me feel like shit. So at that point, I realized I needed to do something with my life, and partying was not it. So, but I don't like drinking personally. I don't even, I rarely drink socially. I almost never do. I, I don't, but. That's a little story time with me and alcohol. I don't drink. What do you think? What are we thinking, gang? Hmm. These are 36, 36, 16. These? These? Light wash? I don't know what size is. These are light wash, huh? They're long though. Those are cute. These are cool, huh? Those are cute. <laughs> Too long? You could always cuff them. Alright. I might take these. These. I, I take these. Cuff no. these. No? Nah, I don't like skinny jeans. Skinny jeans is not for me. First of all, we did our first 5k today in like a year. Uh, me personally, I don't really go running. Running is not really my thing and I did not train for this 5k. Another thing is this 5k was to raise awareness for childhood cancer if you guys don't know. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and your boy battled cancer for about two and a half years and ended up losing my arm. 
Um, it was a big life changer for me. I ended up coming out alive and of course with the help of God and my family and friends. So yeah. Also, um, my mind through the 5k, I didn't really have a time in mind. It was just trying to run to see where I was at. I knew I was going to go into the 5k not with like, I knew it was going to be easy, right? And I usually typically start off running hard. That's how I started today. I ran, I ran like the first, I jogged pretty hard within the first like mile or so. And I kind of uh, lightened up a little bit, got tired. But my mindset throughout the whole run was, um, we're halfway there, close as anything, can't stop now because if I were to stop for water or something like that, then that just mess up my breathing routine and stuff like that. Also, I was really trying not to focus on like my pain or how tired I was. That kind of helped. And literally, I was thinking about all the all those videos I post and like the posts behind them. That was literally what I was thinking about the whole time. That just, you want to wake up, be rich today, stuff like that. And we're almost there, stuff like that. I don't know. That was my mindset throughout the whole run. Okay, so I ended up pulling through with the eight minute mile time. Very surprising. Surprised myself, at least. And yeah, it was pretty fun. Shout out to my friends who also ran it with me. I think I'm going to wrap the video up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I don't want to go on a rant too much. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.